My name is George Burgess. I, I serve as director of the Florida Program for Shark Research. Uh, if you see a shark uh, while in the water, of course, the first thing to do is to get out if you can. And uh, that seems obvious to, to most people, but uh, surfers in particular uh, who uh, swim a lot in the water and, and see sharks oftentimes uh, don't worry about it because they, they've been with them before. Uh, and then sometimes they get bit. If a shark's actually coming at you uh, and looks like it's going to make contact with you, uh, the nose is a sensitive spot. Uh, if you can bop it on the nose with your fist, uh, it likely will veer away and once again you hopefully will have enough time to get out of the water. Finally, if uh, in, in fact uh, a shark has got you in its jaws, uh, the eyes and the gill slits, the, the, the five openings behind the, the, the eyes are very sensitive um, and uh, uh, stick your fingers in there, uh, claw at them uh, and uh, some people that have been bit uh, have had success in getting them to open their mouths when you uh, poke at their eye. Uh, the odds of being attacked actually have never been lower than they are right now simply because we're putting so many people in the water um, that it's just like having uh, extra lottery tickets thrown into the pool. So individually our odds of being attacked have never been lower.